Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. Today, I'll share everything that there is to know about Eargo's latest product, the Eargo 7, and why Eargo are so excited by them. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that gray notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. A year after the release of Eargo 6, which was Eargo's most advanced, smallest, and smartest over-the-counter hearing aid, Eargo have just announced the Eargo 7. Now, before I get started, if you're interested in a free dummy set to see if they fit in your ears, then stick around until the end, and I'll let you know how you can get your hands on a pair. For those of you that don't know Eargo, they were founded in 2010 by French ear, nose, and throat surgeon Dr. Florent Michel and his son Raphael Michel. In terms of tech, Ego have released several different devices now from the Ego Plus, the Max, the Neo, the Neo Hi-Fi, and the Ego 5 and 6. In my eyes, Ego were way ahead of their time with their vision, having provided direct-to-consumer assistive hearing technology since 2017. With some recent tweaks to their existing technology, the Ego's 5 and 6 have now received FDA 510K clearance as self-fitting hearing aids and the Ego 7 will also have that stamp too, meaning that they can be marketed as over-the-counter hearing aids. This all follows on from the recent FDA announcement for OTC hearing aids in the US, and as a result of the announcement, there have been an abundance of tech companies, both new and old, developing over-the-counter hearing aids, which I've listed in this video, and I'll link it in the description to today's video. It feels like Ego are now sitting in a nice, comfortable position, having warmed up the space for those joining the OTC race. So the big question is, what's new with Ego 7? Physically, they look the same as the Ego 6s, and in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with that. This design is small, lightweight, and fits neatly into the ear. There's no question that they do look pretty cool, and this is one of the things that excites me the most about any new hearing aid technology that we're seeing nowadays. Not just these new OTC hearing aids, but also traditional hearing aid manufacturer technology as well. If you take a good look here with it in, you can just about see the removal cord, but not much else. Just to compare, here's a shot of my ear with a traditional invisible in-ear hearing aid inserted, and here's another shot of me with the Phonak Lyric in my ear. If this cool and sleek appearance results in a better adoption of hearing aids and gives us a way of getting the millions of people that suffer with a hearing loss globally that don't do anything about it to finally manage their hearing loss, then I'll be a very, very happy audiologist. The Ego 7s have a built-in lithium-ion battery so that you can charge them on the go, similarly to a set of AirPods. And Ego state that with consistent daily use, the charger will need to be recharged roughly every three days. Similarly to the Ego 6s, a single charge will last you for around 16 hours. Now, this is no mean feat, as having reviewed plenty of other OTC devices on the Hearing Tracker YouTube channel, I can tell you that they don't last as long as this, with the battery lives of other OTC devices normally lasting somewhere from between 7 to 10 hours, which means that you can't use them for a full day. And in my opinion, they're not really good as hearing aids, though. With Ego boasting 16 hours of life, this already brings the Ego 7s closer to the traditional hearing aid manufacturers in terms of practicality and functionality. Without getting you too excited though, the extended battery life does come at a cost, which is the lack of Bluetooth streaming that you do get with all traditional hearing aids now and the likes of the HP Hearing Pro and the Jabra Enhanced Plus, meaning that with some of the other OTC tech out there, you can hear the sound of anything coming from your phone directly in both of your ears. The setup process involves using the Ego app, which is compatible with both iOS and Android, and it's your responsibility to self-fit these devices without the help of an audiologist. This is all using their sound match setup process, which involves performing a hearing test on yourself using the app. The spitting process takes roughly between 10 to 15 minutes. After the setup process is complete, the app itself then provides you with basic controls to adjust the settings, such as a volume control, changing the noise reduction settings and adjusting to different programs. Any in-the-ear hearing aid has a tough job living in a waxy, damp environment, and they are without question more likely to break down compared to any of their behind-the-ear counterparts. The Ego 7s have the same IPX7 water resistance rating as the previous model, which technically means that they can sit in a meter of water for up to 30 minutes and should still function afterwards. Now, before you get too excited, I'm definitely not recommending that you go swimming wearing them. 
However, this rating does tell us something about the robustness of these devices as when they're in your ear all day long, it's a pretty harsh environment when it comes to wax and moisture. So I would look at this as more of an improvement when it comes to durability than anything else. Everything that I've mentioned so far is pretty much the same as the Ego 6s, but it looks like the big change comes in the form of a new feature called Sound Adjust Plus, which supersedes the Sound Adjust feature found in the Ego 6s. Compared to the previous version of Sound Adjust, Ego are boasting that the Sound Adjust Plus feature of Ego 7 offers a faster and more advanced sound processing in louder environments, evaluating the ambient sound and automatically prioritizing speech or reducing noise for comfort, making Ego 7 better able to cope in the likes of a restaurant or crowded environment compared to the Ego 6s. As is true of all OTC devices, these are designed for those with a mild to moderate hearing loss. One concern that I do have with all in-the-ear OTC hearing aids, which no OTC hearing aid manufacturer has really covered in any of their paraphernalia, is something called the occlusion effect. Typically with an age-related hearing loss, the hearing is better in the low tones versus the high tones. And this means that if an in-ear hearing aid or earbud style of hearing aid is worn, you may well feel like you've got your fingers stuck in your ears whilst you're wearing them. Ego have done a great job of designing the petals to try and overcome this. So I would love to know if you've tried them and whether you've experienced the occlusion effect or not. So the main changes that Ego are boasting with this new development all orbits around their new Sound Adjust Plus feature and not a whole lot more. Ego are making some pretty big claims for how they think these will cope in background noise. And I'll be very interested to see if they hold any truth when I get my hands on a set to give them a full review. So make sure that you subscribe to be notified when I have my hands on these OTC hearing aids. If you're after the free dummy devices that I mentioned earlier on, head over to the link in the description to this video. I hope that you found this video useful guys. If you like this video, then give it the thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, then drop them beneath this video as I do try and get back to as many people as possible. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.